All right, y'all, what's going on? I'm here for Love and Hip Hop New York, Season 7, Episode 13. So we started back off right in Mexico or whatever. It's their last day there. Um, you know, Cardi, she's, you know, having a talk with her sister, um, Hennessy, on the beach or whatever about her, you know, um, focusing on school and what's, you know, what she's going to do with her degree once she gets out of school. Because a lot of times, you know, people get degrees and stuff and don't know what to do with them you know pretty much what she was saying and everything and she wants to make sure that her sister is on the right path because you know their mother worries about her sometimes this day and the third so you know cardi felt the need you know as big sis to talk to her and everything and you know um cardi you know is telling her that she needs to take it serious so people can be proud of her and all this other stuff you know hennessy she kind of you know starts to tear up a little bit and everything and you know she pretty much tells you know cardi that she is you know getting it together and you know she knows Knows what she's going to do and everything once you know she gets her degree or whatever um i think she wants to do something in fashion or whatever i guess have like a fashion line or something like that so you know that was that with them um moving on from that we get to juju and yandy um yandy shows up at juju's room and everything and you know yandy is like you know juju what the hell like i've been calling you no she was like i've been texting you all night and all this other stuff i showed up at your i showed up at your door and juju was like okay bitch i ain't feel like talking <laughs> she like i didn't feel like talking and sometimes you know when you have an argument with somebody sometimes a person don't feel like talking right after that shit happens sometimes you need to let a day or two go past before you try to you know um approach the situation so um juju is like that you know yandy shouldn't had even you know uh questioned her like that you know she should have trusted her and everything and yandy was like but i can't believe you got mad so upset over me asking the question juju like uh no bitch i'm mad that um you question my character you know what i'm saying and i felt juju on that it's like bitch if you know what type of female i am and everything as your friend you should know my character you know what i'm saying and know that i wouldn't do nothing shysty or shady to you you know what i mean and like um Yandy, she's still kind of like on this whole thing like the shit was about her. She like, you know, well, you kind of got to admit that the char character sounds a little bit like my story or whatever, this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, so, I mean, two weeks ago, you don't remember telling her? Well, when we saw on the show two weeks ago, you told her about this shit. And when she was telling you about the whole Mexico trip, she was telling you that her book was already published. So, like, I'm confused. And then on top of that, like, um, some of the other YouTubers been saying, you telling us about this shit on TV, on live, on national TV. So, I mean, what, what, what the fuck difference does it make? Like, come on, Yandy. Like, cut the bullshit. But anyway, so, um, you know, Yandy pretty much just kind of gives up, you know, with the fight with Juju and everything. She's like, okay, you know, um, if you say it's not about me. Like, she keep on saying if. No, Yandy. It's not about you. That's what she is not about you. Not no if, okay? But anyway, so Yandy pretty much apologizes. And that was that. So moving on from that, uh, we get Rich Dollars. And um, why well, I say it like that? Rich Dollars. And um, you know, he's trying to launch um some creep squad clothing. I swear, I'm so fucking sick of this goddamn Creep Squad bullshit. Like, it don't make no fucking sense. Like, Creep Squad clothing? Really? Y'all niggas 40, 50 years old. To Who the fuck gonna walk around with this shit? I don't even think motherfuckers my age will walk around with this. Uh, walk around with that shit unless they just a real lame -o, You know what I mean? But anyways, um, Ashley, she comes in, you know, his daughter or whatever. And you know she done um went from dishwasher up into um up to um being his assistant and everything. And then Rich Mom you know shows up or whatever. And you know um Ashley is not too impressed with this whole you know creep squad gear. She you know kind of like how I'm like and how I'm pretty sure everybody else is like like really motherfucker like like no this shit sounds lame. Like you're too old to be talking about some creep squad shit. You know what I'm saying? And um. You know, Ashley is like, no, Rich is saying that, you know, he's always been, you know, the good guy in my Stevie J voice or whatever. And that, you know, he's not really a creep. Yeah, okay, Rich. Let, please do not let us rewind 
all the seas that you've been up here and sh okay let, let's not do that okay so um anyways uh ashley says that you know from now on she's going to pick out his dates or whatever because the um motherfuckers he been bringing around just you know he she not fixing to be having nobody that's like old that's you know young enough to be her damn sister you know what i mean like nah be you know be her stepmom or whatever so um moving on from that later on in the episode uh come to find out um ashley sets rich up on a date with her mother with her mother or whatever and you know they're both shocked and everything because you know it was a blind date or whatever and you know he says that you know him and ashley's mom never really broke up it's just that he left memphis memphis and you know moved to you know new york or whatever so um she, you know, pretty much asked him about, you know, would he like to have more children and everything. And he says, you know, yeah, because honestly, I wasn't really there for Ashley growing up and stuff. So this would give me a second chance and everything. You know, they had a great conversation going on, you know, whatever, whatever. So, you know, that was cool. Um, moving on from that. Ooh, excuse me. We have Peter and Amina. Amina is back, but she's back, you know, visiting and everything. And, um, you know, her and, you know, the babies are staying with him, you know, while she's in town or whatever. Um, they're, you know, going to have like a little celebration for, you know, uh, his daughter Bronx or whatever, you know, for being, you know, being in New York or whatever. So his, you know, whole family could see her and everything. So, um, he's asking her like, you know, do you miss me and everything? And she's like, you know, sometimes I do or whatever, but... You know, pretty much she knows it was the right decision for her to move to, you know, L.A. or whatever. And, um, you know, because he didn't, you know, she knew that he didn't want her. You know what I mean? And, um, this is where, Aline, uh, this is where Amina, I guess, kind of has somewhat, of, a little bit of sense, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But, um, anyway, so, um, hold on, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm trying to. Well, pretty much, you know, he's saying, you know, you know what comes after separation and that's divorce or, divorce or whatever. And pretty much she's kind of, you know, sad about it and everything about him wanting, the, wanting a uh, divorce. But, you know, she pretty much accepts it. He, she accepts the fact that, you know, he doesn't want her and everything. And, you know, um, she says that, you know, um, you know, what her heart wants may not may not be the best thing for her, you know, and. Um, she tells him, you know, you know, you're going to regret this and everything, this, that, and the third. I'm just like, Amina, like, please, okay, just, just, you know, you go ahead on with the divorce or whatever, dead that shit, move on, you know. But anyway, so, later on in the episode, we get Peter, Tara, and Amina. So, you know, like I said, the whole family, you know, his family, uh, is, you know, celebrating, you know, uh, ba ba um, baby Bronx or whatever, being in New York and everything. Uh, Peter honestly would rather Amina be back in New York just so, you know, he could be closer to his kids, this, that, and the third, and, you know, blase, blase, and, you know, she says, uh... Honestly, do you think that if I come back here that we're going to uh, stop messing with each other this day and the third? I was like, yeah, Amina kind of got a point because I don't, I, be, I believe that if Amina was to move back to New York that Peter Price still would mess with her. Despite the fact that he's saying that, oh, uh, he still wants to be, you know, like at this point now he know he wants to be with Tara. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, um. She's like, she can't keep on chasing the man that don't want her, blah, blah, blah. Tara comes in with the kids and, you know, with her kids or whatever. Um, Tara and Amina, they haven't seen each other, you know, in months. So it's kind of weird between them or whatever. And, um, Corey Guns was there. I said, son of a gun. <laughs> Y'all remember they had that show, um, him, Peter and Corey Guns. I was like, damn, nigga, the fuck, where the fuck you been? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, uh, Peter, not Peter, Amina and, uh, Tara, they have a conversation or whatever, and pretty much talking about, you know, it being for the kids, and, you know, how, um, it took them a lot to get where they are now and everything, and they hug or whatever, and, I mean, I've seen stuff months ago, you know, of them, you know, being cool and everything, so I hope it stays that way, you know what I'm saying? 
Now on to the next baby mama drama storyline, which is of course the whole Yandy and Samantha and Erica situation. So, okay, so we get Samantha, Erica, and Kim. Okay, I had to make sure I didn't skip any sh anything. Yeah, so we get Samantha, Erica, and Kim. You know, Samantha's mom. So, you know, Samantha decides to let, uh, you know, little men DCs or whatever, you know, see big men DCs in jail or, you know, prison or whatever. And we knew how we and we all knew how, you know, against uh, how against uh, Samantha was about, you know, little men DCs going to the jail to visit big men DCs and everything. And, you know, um, she says that the visit didn't go well because he blocked Kim from going in and all this other stuff. I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, he blocked Erica uh, from coming to, you know, see him and all this other stuff. And, you know, um, Samantha is like, okay, so what about, you know, a seam or whatever that, you know, you're going to block. You're blocking him, too, by blocking her or whatever. And, you know, um what's his name Mendeecees you know apparently he didn't want to talk about that shit or whatever and you know uh Erica says you know what well, seen sent him some um pictures and you know a birthday card recently and you know he didn't get no response or whatever and now Mendeecees if you did that shit then that's fucked up you know what I'm saying but anyways um because that's your kid too regardless of who the fuck you had this child with you chose not to use protection okay so it's not a seems fault that you know like like Erica shouldn't you know be the cause of you you know treating him a certain way or whatever and it's just I mean whatever anyway so um I think Erica yeah Erica was saying that you know people believe that Andy and DC's just have all these morals and that there's such this you know family oriented uh type of people and all this other stuff and that's not the case or whatever um you know samantha you know lets them know that yandy ain't contribute shit to little men dc's birthday party like how she was supposed to you know no i no ideas or none of that shit and you know how you know uh yandy ain't been returning her phone calls but she been living it up in you know mexico you know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, Samantha says, you know, but I'm going to still, you know, extend the olive branch for Yandy to come. You know what I'm saying? So, moving on from that, we get Yandy and Samantha because Samantha decides that she wants to have a sit down with Yandy to find out what the fuck the problem is. So, you know, uh, like I said, Samantha says that she called or whatever, but she didn't get no response from Yandy. But she still extends the invitation for Yandy to come to Lil Mendeecee's birthday party. Yandy claims that she ain't hear shit from um, Samantha or whatever. I was like, I don't believe you. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't believe her. You know what I'm saying? And um, my whole thing is, okay, you go so hard for Lil Mendeecee's and everything. If you didn't hear a phone call or whatever, why didn't you call her? Oh, no, I'm sorry. She claimed. No, I forgot. She did claim that, you know, uh, her kids tried to call um, Little Men DC's for his birthday or whatever on Little Men DC's phone four times or whatever. And, you know, uh, her kids, you know, then, you know, her son, her son or whatever didn't get no response this day and the third. And, you know, um, Samantha is like, you know, I have no reason to, you know, block Little Men, um, Little Men DC's, you know, from his, you know, his siblings or whatever this day and the third like little man dc's has his own phone so it's no reason for him to you know you know not get the call or whatever this day and the third so um anyways uh i'm sorry i'm trying to read my notes or whatever so yeah samantha you know um as yandy is talking she interrupts and like you know let me stop you right there with your victim cry or whatever this day the third because yandy always do try to act like she the victim like acting like as if she don't ever do shit you feel what i'm saying and um you know samantha is like if it's about the kids or whatever you would make it work with me and erica you know what i'm saying and you know yandy doesn't want to talk about erica and all this other stuff and you know samantha says that you have a problem with erica and yandy's like no i don't and all this other stuff and you know um 
Samantha starts going into, you know, the fact of when Yandy, you know, uh, so-called try to hit her or whatever. Uh, what was it, last week or the episode before, you know, when they got into their little tiff and everything. And, you know, Yandy is like, no, because you called me a bitch and all this other stuff. And, you know, uh, Samantha is like, you know, um, that's what I do. I, you know, bitch, 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 bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do when I'm mad or whatever. You gonna hit me, you gonna try to hit me this time or whatever, this day and the third. Now, Samantha, it wasn't right <laughs> for you, you know, just cause you mad or whatever. It wasn't right for you to call her, you know, a bitch or nothing like that. But, yeah, I mean, you know. But, anyway, so, um. Samantha says that she can't tolerate, you know, a liar and all this other stuff. And pretty much how, you know, uh, Yandy won't acknowledge, like, you know, Mendici, Mendici's and Erica's relationship, this, that, and the third. And, um, Yandy, you know, I mean, no, Samantha says something about how at the end of the day it's supposed to be about the kids, this, that, and the third, blase, blase. And Yandy's sitting up here talking about some. I've been saying this since day one that it's about the kids or whatever, this, that, and the third. And now all of a sudden, Samantha is trying to use the same shit that I've been saying, you know, against me and everything. Just, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, but your actions don't show that it's about the fucking kids, though, Yandy. But anyway, so, uh, Samantha tells Yandy that she needs to, you know, humble herself and get on a level. This, you know, whatever, whatever. And, you know, Yandy asks, you know, like, are you finishing everything? And, Samantha's like, yeah, you know, I ain't got shit else to say. And, you know, Samantha's like, bye, Hollywood, and everything. And, you know, Yandy is like, I am Hollywood. Like, that's exactly what the fuck they talking about, Yandy. Like, you look the fuck down on them. Like, you really do. You know what I'm saying? Talking about some, I am Hollywood. Like, girl, what? That's exactly what the fuck they talking about. You was no better than them. And the root of the problem is motherfucking Mandeces. Like, let's keep the shit real. He cheated on all of y'all. Bottom line. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, moving on from that. So, um, Yandy and, you know, Kimbella, uh, you know, they have like a movie night or whatever. And I apologize, y'all, for being all over the place or whatever this day and the third. But, um, so they have a movie night and everything. Uh, you know, Yandy is telling her about, you know, uh, the whole situation with Samantha and, you know, the birthday party for Lil Mendeecees and then, you know, uh, them meeting up or whatever. And, you know, um, Samantha is like, you know, now she not including me into the birthday plan and this, that, and the third. I'm like, well, if you would have picked up the goddamn phone when she was calling. <laughs> I mean, you know, but anyway, so, um. She's saying how Samantha was saying that they're never going to get along because of Erica and all this other stuff. I'm like, Yandy, that is not like the sole reason as to why y'all are never going to get along. So don't try to make it seem like as if that's the only that's the only reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you do have a real big issue with Erica, more probably more than you do Samantha. But I mean, come on. But anyway, so you know, Cambella is like, oh, so that's why she keeping little men DCs away this then third because she wants you to acknowledge the relationship that you know uh erica and mendeecees had or whatever this then the third and you know um yeah talking about something they should have a problem with each other because uh i wouldn't be uh i wouldn't be um sitting next to the um bitch that um slept with my man while we was together this then the third okay but like samantha said that shit was years ago they have kids now Something that you need to be thinking about that since you've been saying all this fucking season is all about the goddamn kids. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, so, Kim is saying that she don't like the fact that Yandy is dealing with all of this and everything. And it's just like, Kim, you don't even know the whole situation why you sitting up here talking? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You, I mean, of course, I know, yeah, Yanny is your friend. You going off her word, word or whatever, this, day and the third. But I'm pretty sure you still going hard for her and everything. Like, she's just solely right in this situation when she's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's wrong, too, in this whole situation. Not just Erica and Samantha. But anyways, um, Yandy talking about something. She don't even know she going to go to the party no more. All this fuck, I mean, all this noise 
that you be making about little Mendeecees and everything and now you're saying you're not sure you're going to go to the party or whatever because she talking about something she's not going to subject her kids to you know all this drama and blase blase or whatever like so you know um Kim Bella thinks it's because Erica and Samantha can't let go of Mendeecees I really don't I really don't think Samantha wants me in DC's like I really don't I really don't think she wants them now Erica on the other hand it's kind of uh shaky with me only because sometimes she do come off like as if she still wants him but I think she's just more pressed about you know Yandy and him acknowledging shit you know what I'm saying but anyways uh moving on from that so the last scene is you know Samantha Erica Kim Samantha's mom and I have to keep on saying that because you know y'all know sometimes I call Kim Bella Kim for short. So, anyways, we had Lil Mendeecee's birthday party or whatever, his 11th birthday. Yandy and the kids are no show. The party is almost over. And I noticed something. Where the fuck was Judy at? Where was Judy at? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. But um, anyway, so Kim Bella was outside, and you could tell that she was not even supposed to be there because you know they had the words on the screen so we can hear you know see what she was saying is she I, I don't think she had a mic on her or nothing like that i was like where the hell is mona at <laughs> i said mona if you will come in here and get this bitch you know what i'm saying no damn well she this ain't her goddamn scene so anyways she's outside i guess so it looked like she talking to the producers or whatever and they even looking at her like she fucking crazy or whatever for even trying to come up in you know the party or whatever this day and the third and you know um Samantha she's you know observing and watching what's going on like what the fuck is she doing and everything and you know Kim is saying how her kids has a bond with Lil Mendeecees as well this day and the third um with Lil Mendeecees and Asim and everything and how they should be up in there and da, 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 and all this other stuff Kim you're showing up somewhere that you were not invited to regardless of the fact that your kids have a bond I'm sorry, y'all. This hair shitting. But regardless of the fact that um y'all your kids have a bond with you know uh, Erica and Samantha's kids and everything, you were not supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? And you causing all this fucking ruckus at a kid's birthday party? Like really, really, Kim? Really, Kim Bella? You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, uh, she admits that Yandy didn't ask her to show up. You know, Kim Bella says she did this all on her own and everything, and. You know, um, Kim, Mama Kim, is about ready to beat her the fuck up and everything. So she takes her jacket off and shit. She like, what up, Kim Bella? What up, Kim Bella? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Samantha, she's popping off or whatever. She's getting pissed off or whatever. And Kim is like, you know, uh, I'm about ready to do a Chrissy on her. <laughs> I said, oh, my God, Kim is ridiculous. But I don't blame her, though, because it's like, Kim Bella, you can't fight. You can't fight, okay? Like, just stop it. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that was pretty much, uh, that was the episode, y'all. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And make sure you guys click on the bell that's next to the subscription button so you guys can get notified about all my videos. And, um, make sure you share it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.